anti-Semitism is on a rise all over the Western world. Listen to this. There is a 500% rise on violent anti-Semitic cases in attempts to scare, harass, and terrorize Jewish people all over the world after Hamas's massacre. Just these last few weeks, we've seen Jewish homes and businesses marked with the Star of David and violent attacks on Jews. In Paris, a teacher was stabbed to death and three others adults injured by a man shouting Allah Akbar. In Dagestan, a mob of people broke through an airport to lynch every single Jewish person they find because they heard an airplane from Israel just landed with Jewish passengers in it. Not Israeli, Jewish. This doesn't sound insane to you? Can you imagine going after a group of people and lynching them for their religion? Well, this is happening in 2023 in the world's most Western countries, and you can't even imagine how far this can go. But we can. We know. We remember how far this can go. Targeting Jews for a conflict happening in Israel sounds like an uneducated mistake. But unfortunately, out of all places, this is especially happening in elite institutions of higher education in Europe and the US. Here are a few sad examples. In Harvard campus, a large group of protesters supporting terror celebrated the October 7th massacre and called for the end of the Israeli state. Yes, Harvard, an institution who rejected 10 students in 2020 for using violent messages and language on social media, is now allowing the support of murder, rape, and kidnap of Israelis. Here's another example. A mob of Palestinian supported harassed and trapped Orthodox Jews in Cooper Union College's library, violently knocked on the doors trying to get in and threatened them. Remember, this is 2023, not 1939. In the University of Cornell, the Jewish students community was threatened with shooting up all of the Jews on campus, raping and throwing all of the Jewish women off a cliff and beheading all of the Jewish men. Russell Rickford, one of the university's professors, shouted onto a microphone during one of the protests that Hamas's massacres of October 7th was exhilarating and energizing. It was exhilarating, it was energizing. Swastikas were drawn on different college campuses and Glory to the Martyrs was projected on the George Washington University at a pro-Palestinian protest. This is completely crazy. You're standing up to defend the Palestinian cause with the intention of aiding a good cause, but together with the pro-Palestinian protests comes a strong anti-Jewish force comparable to the Europe's pogroms in the 20th century. And one last thing. I grew up in Spain. I lived in Europe until I was 15. When I was 13, I was beat up by a group of guys at a pool's changing room after finding out I was Jewish. We had to take the kippahs out of our heads or any other Jewish symbol before leaving the Jewish school because of the constant terror attack threats. That made me realize that Israel is where I belong, and Israel is the place that I have to defend. All these cases of anti-Semitism and violence are only proving to us why we must fight for Israel and defend it with everything we have. As Golda Meir said to a young Joe Biden, We Jews have a secret weapon. We have no place else to go. So thank you for reminding us why the existence of Israel is vital for our existence.